In this video, we are going to look at 4 ways a fixed wing aircraft breaks after landing. Because they land on a runway at a very high speed they have to be stopped using highly developed engineer mechanisms on the runway. The fourth one will surprise you, as it is mainly used by military aircraft or space shuttles. As we continue, kindly like the video so that YouTube algorithm shall favor us. It means a lot to me, thanks. Now, the first way is where there are brakes on aircraft wheels, just like vehicles. When an aircraft lands, a caliper presses the brake pads against the disc, slowly reducing the speed on wheels until it stops. Let's not delve into different types of discs for now, as it is deep engineering. Secondly, the spoilers located on the upper middle part of aircraft wings help create drag. They also reduce lift generated by wings, leaving the aircraft's full weight on the landing gear that have brakes, aiding in further braking. The third one is reverse thrust by aircraft engines. Here, air is sucked and thrust forward by aircraft engine, aiding in deceleration until the aircraft halts. Finally, brake parachutes have been designed to provide adequate deceleration to fighter aircraft of different weight class and to stop them within specified landing speed in both normal and emergency conditions. It is because in normal circumstances, military aircraft land with very high speeds, necessitating the use of extra creative solutions to stop them on runways. I hope you've learned something. Please like the video, and thanks a lot for your patronage. See you in the next one, goodbye.